In this video, I interview entrepreneur Evan Carmichael, and we talk about how to build a business around your YouTube channel, tips for building a team no matter what size of subscribers you have so far, and why your mindset could be holding back your growth. Coming up. This video is brought to you by LearnVideo.Live, a one-hour online masterclass on how to grow a highly influential and profitable YouTube channel this year. On this free training, you'll learn the proven strategies and current best practices for growing your subscribers and creating passive income with YouTube. To register for free, just go to LearnVideo.Live. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Video Influencers. Help you build your influence income and impact with online video. And I'm super pumped to have Evan Carmichael back on Video Influencers. How's it going? Good, man, good to be back. Super pumped to be here at Clamor in Palm Springs. And we actually just got off a panel talking all yeah. about how to really build a business around your YouTube channel. Yeah. And I wanted to have a conversation with you because you help entrepreneurs grow. And really, you're really not really a YouTuber first. You're a CEO first, a business mind first. Yeah. And so we'll unpack that and really talk about how how creators can start creating other revenue streams and things like that. But before we get into it, for those who maybe don't know you yet, talk a little bit about your journey, what you do um, as an entrepreneur and things like that. So, you know, had a biotech software, software company 19, built and sold at 22, became a venture capitalist, then just wanted to give back, help entrepreneurs not have to struggle uh, like I did. I think your, your purpose comes from your pain. So I struggled a lot to get my business off the ground and now I just want to make it easier for other people to do it. Uh, have a channel called uh, Off My Name, Evan Carmichael, a motivational content for entrepreneurs, 1.3 million subs. It's grown a lot, like since you've grown a lot too in the past year too, man. It's great. It's like the circle of influence helps everybody grow. Um, d daily content, three times a day usually, videos to help entrepreneurs build and grow. I always approached it like a business, and that's a topic, right? I think, I think a lot of YouTubers, this is their first business. And they're artists, and you're artists, and you're creators, and I love it. Like, I'm an artist in what I do, but it's artist slash CEO. Yep. And, and you, you need to have a CEO in a business. If you want to grow, if you just want to be you all the time, and, and it's a solo operation, or you and one person, great. But if you want to build something big, significant, create wealth, generational wealth, like, it's going to come from you thinking like a CEO, or recognizing that you don't have the skills or interest to do it. And bring it on somebody who wants to be the CEO. I love that. And you know, one of the reasons I really wanted to talk to you is because even here at Clamor, we are connecting with other YouTubers, other creators, and many people in this community are on the rise. And they might look at somebody who has got a lot of subscribers, maybe even like doing pretty well financially, but behind the scenes, what can happen in the YouTube space is creators are still sometimes paycheck to paycheck, yeah. even though they're making a lot of income, or they're also on the verge of burnout yeah. because they've grown, they're popular, they're getting some momentum, but it's like impossible to sustain because they're doing everything themselves, they're yeah. stressed. And so what would you say to those watching at any stage of the journey that they should change in their thinking to avoid those types of things? And as entrepreneurs, of course, of course we're gonna hit hard seasons, of course we're gonna hit the time where you burn the candle at both ends, but you can't sustain that forever. Yeah. So, so what do you say to that, even if they're crushing it, how we should be thinking? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I was here last year, I met a guy who had, had five million subscribers on his channel and it was still him and his wife and they couldn't afford to hire anybody on their team. I, mean, I thought it was crazy and, and it's sad, right? That you have such a big channel, you put so much work in and you still can't afford to build anything and you're spending 80 hours a week just putting it in. So at the beginning, it just starts with the mindset. It's if you want to develop the skills and you want to build something bigger, then you need to go and invest in yourself and the training, the skills, your courses, go to the events, right? And that's what you want to do. If it's not, if that's not who you are again, then you need to bring on the partner. But you need to be thinking, how do I make money in the process of me pursuing my art? Money's really important. I think a lot of people, some people think money's everything and that's a mistake. You do the wrong things for money. And some people think money's the root of all evil and making money is a bad thing. Money's really important. Even if you're a charity, money's important. But it's just not number one. It's number two or three or four. You gotta find the thing that is above money, but then recognize that you need to make money to go off and do that thing on a bigger scale. And so to build a team, do you wanna build a team? You know, I have eight people on my YouTube team. Do you wanna be a leader? Do you wanna manage people? Do you wanna care about their growth and help them learn as individuals? 
Or is that something that is not interesting for you? You just want to focus on the art. Mm. In which case, to get your mission and your purpose out there, you need to find the person who's going to help you do it. That's really good. And one of the things you were mentioning on the panel we were just on is the skill set. So let's assume that those watching are like, I do want to, to run this, or I at least want to know what to look for in someone that could help me run this. Let's talk about it kind of one by one. You mentioned, yeah, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, not just a YouTuber, you need leadership, you need teamwork, you need some you know kind of biz dev skills. Break that down. Let's talk about leadership first. What, what, what would you say the importance of leadership is for those that are now no longer really calling themselves just YouTubers, but calling themselves, okay, I'm a CEO, I'm a business owner. Like Jay-Z says, yeah. I'm not a businessman, yeah. I'm a business man. man. Yeah. So um, for leadership, how can leaders grow? How have you grown as a leader and how important is that? I think the most important thing about leadership is you care about the person's growth in the business more than you care about the business. And so recognizing that for you, this might be a lifetime thing. Like this is your baby. This is your vision. You're trying to do this maybe forever. For other people, they may not be with you forever. Like you're running a parallel path for a certain amount of time. And then at some point they may need to jump off. And a lot of people, when they're first bringing on people, you think, wait, I can, I can outsource. I can delegate. Now I don't have to do all the work. You can't just treat a human being like a machine or a monkey. You have to care about their growth. And so a lot of what you do has to be what are the skills that this person is missing? What are the mindset leaps that this person have to take? And sometimes it means the best thing for them is to kick them out of your business to allow them to go off and do their thing at the detriment of your own business, which is a really hard thing to do. But at the end, it always comes back. You always win. Like doing the right thing is always the right thing. And so most important to be a leader is you need to care about the people on your team and care about their growth. The people who are around you have to be getting better as human beings not just providing you a product or service. I love that. And, you know, I would, I would add that um, one of the things you do so great is your YouTube channel. It, it's for developing entrepreneurs. We could talk about that later, but, of course, we'll link to it. You have all so much great content from a lot of great leaders for those watching to grow as leaders. I think that just the mindset that you may have never thought that. You may have never thought, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a creative. You may not think of yourself as a leader. I think that's kind of step one. And then maybe starting to read books on leadership. I know John Maxwell has been a huge influence in my life. 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership is actually a pretty must-read because it can start helping you at least think that way. And leadership's definitely a journey, wouldn't you agree? It's not a one-time thing. It is a lifelong process. Yeah, it starts with self-awareness to figure out, do you want to be the leader? And if you do, then you can read books and you can watch videos. I think, I think there's, yes, a certain amount you can learn from books, but I think the environment and the habits and routine you set for yourself is actually more important. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to learn confidence, yeah, you can read this book on seven ways to be more confident. It doesn't mean you're actually going to do those seven things to be more confident. The best way to be more confident is to be around confident people. And so whether that's in your actual circle of influence and you're networking and you're meeting people, or whether that's through aspirational, it's what I do, a lot of what I do with my videos. If you're watching Elon Musk or Jay-Z be confident, Jay-Z is a great example. Have you seen the clip with Warren Buffett? On your channel. It's on my channel, but it's out there, too. I don't think I've seen it, though. Oh, it says Jay-Z, Warren Buffett, and, and the guy who started Forbes. They were doing an interview together. That's crazy. Which is awesome that, like, Jay-Z's in the circle of Warren Buffett, and they're friends, and this, right? And they, they asked Jay-Z, Jay-Z, you're in, you're in these boardrooms now. You're not in the streets. You're in these boardrooms. You don't have a college degree. You didn't go to school. You don't, how, how do you have the confidence to go off and be in these boardrooms and talk, CEO talk? And he's like, I'm just myself in every room. I didn't go to universities, but I went to the school of life. And just watching that, just feeling the confidence and the leadership coming from him creates an emotional reaction, creates a shift for yourself. And so the more you're around that, whether through a computer screen or with people, the more you will adopt the mindset and the belief systems that you need to go off and do the thing. So yes, the tactics are really important, the seven ways, the 21 ways, all that stuff. But what ends up happening with a book often is you read it and you're in it while you read it and then you close the book and then you forget to implement. It doesn't mean you're doing all those things, right? Everybody knows how to do push-ups, but you're not off doing push-ups. Right? Clearly, I have not been doing the push-ups right? yet. <laughs> we've got we to gotta climb our workout after yeah, this. No doubt. But why? It's the mindset. It's not important enough to you. You could do it. And sure, could a trainer come and tweak it and say, hey, Sean, like that angle's wrong? Yeah, you can get a little bit better at it. But the mindset, you haven't made the decision that you want to 
be great at doing push-ups. So powerful. Now, let's pivot to teamwork and probably one of the biggest things for creators at all levels, but especially as they grow, they have a lot of blocks. Uh, well, I don't know if I could delegate editing. Like, I'm, I'm, I've been creating all my content. I don't think anyone could edit as good as me. I don't know if I could trust anybody or, or where do I find people? How do I even get started if I want to start rallying some people around me and building a team of any size as a creator or a video influencer? So at the start, again, it always comes down to mindset. With any new thing that you are starting, there's a million reasons why it's not going to work out. I may be five or six ways how it will. And if you only focus on a negative, then you don't take any action and you're right, it won't work out. Or you look at, how do I make it work out? So Steve Wozniak, founder of, co-founder of Apple, uh, his advice to new entrepreneurs is stop looking at the resources you don't have, start asking how, what can you do with what you do have. Mm. And so any new thing that you wanna do, there's a million reasons why it will not work. So stop focusing on that and figure out what are the one or two or three things that I need to do that will help me get there. With every, op- uh, with every problem there's an opportunity. So do you look at the problem or do you look at the opportunity? Wow. Right? Yeah, very powerful. And what insights have you had? I mean, did you start by yourself on the YouTube channel? Always. I love starting by myself. Yeah, like, so you- I, I, I had built and sold a successful business. I had a second business that I was running. And then I hate spending money till I'm making money. Mm. So everything I did, even though I had money, was, was ghetto. Like I used a flip camera, no audio, it was shaky. I did all the editing myself and movie maker. Like I just did everything. And as soon as I started making a little bit of money, I poured it back into- Reinvested it. Exactly, because like anybody can spend money. This came from my, my venture capital days. People would come in and say, hey, we need $100,000 or a million dollars or whatever it is. It's easy to spend money. If I gave, if I gave somebody a million dollars, you can find a million ways to spend it. Yep. Doesn't mean you can make money. Mm. And often giving people money too soon is a, is a, is a curse. Mm. Because you don't know how to make money. You don't know if any of these things are going to work out. So take that idea. The, the challenge with entrepreneurs, with YouTubers, you've got a big vision. Like, I want to build a million subscriber channel. I want to build a $10 million empire. Like, you've got a big vision. And then you think, to make that happen, I need all of these resources. And it just becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, which is amazing, your dream. But then becomes so big that you don't do anything. And so let the big dream be your motivation, but as soon as you come up with a goal, find the smallest, stupidest, easiest possible way to just start. Wow. Start. Get out your phone and film. Like, that's it. Make a video. And then start again tomorrow and the next day. And you're working towards the big dream. And that's what you did. You got started, but then over time, then your team grew. So just what are the few insights and timeline as you started to grow your team and how you did it, where you found them? So most of my team is overseas. Um, we use Upwork a lot. We have a whole hiring process that works pretty well. Upwork.com. Upwork.com. And what is that? We'll link it up. It's a resource where there's freelancers from around the world who, who bid on projects. And so editing, research, community management, a lot of that you can find through Upwork. Actually filming content. So my, my video team is in my city and they're, they're with me. But everything else is, is overseas. So it's allow you, it allows you to get high quality talent without spending as much money. So it allows you dollar to stretch a lot further. And maybe at only five hours a week or 10 hours a week at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. That's a huge mistake people make too. They start off saying, well, I don't have 50K to hire somebody. Your first hire should never be full time. One, because you can't afford it and yeah. you can start a lot sooner. And two, you probably suck as a manager. Sure. Right? Like managing somebody full time is work. So start on five hours a week, right? The first guy I ever hired was for one hour a day. Yeah. One hour a day doing data entry work. And that saved one and a half hours of my time because he was better at it than I was. Yeah. Right? And that, that allows you to start developing and training the skills of how to manage and lead a person. And then you can start scaling up. And unless you do it sooner, if you wait till you have 50K burning a hole in your pocket, you might be waiting another three years before that happens. Mm, yep. Really, really good advice. Well, hey, are you ready for the lightning round? Lightning round. I'm ready. Let's go. Lightning round. Lightning round. Three, two, one. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Cat or dog? Dog. What kind of dog do you have? Shipu. Shipu? Yeah. What's the Shipu dog's name? Timo. Timo? She- Timo the Shipu? Yeah. Poopity scoop. Right? Lots of poop. It's the in the poo. Yeah. Shipu. Favorite TV show or Netflix show to binge? Oh, I don't watch a lot of TV. Billions. Ooh, that's a good show. Yeah, I like that show. show. Yeah, that's right. Silicon Valley number two. That's We're good too. Awesome, awesome. Okay. One book every influencer watching should read. Top 10 rules of success. Read one page a day. Mm, we'll link that up if you want to check that out in the YouTube description. Favorite social network besides YouTube? Instagram. It's hot right now. I love it. It's everybody's right. answer. Like we just know the answer ahead I love of time. The, I love the live where you can bring somebody in. That's the thing. Right? Live, you bring somebody it's in, fun. you coach them 
one on one. That's the that's the jam. I've done that a couple times. So do it more. Yeah. Four times a week. Yeah, I need to more. do it more. 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 I love that. Recommended documentary or movie that could help maybe those watching grow as entrepreneurs. I like the the jobs. The, the first jobs one. Jo- I think it was just called Jobs. Yeah, I saw it. I didn't see the, the newest one. The Kutcher one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was Watch a good that movie. Yeah. Love it. Hidden talent that maybe not only our audience wouldn't know about, but maybe your audience would even know about it. Oh, I would say salsa dancing, but people know that in my audience. Okay. Hidden talent can do the world's quietest sneeze. Mm. Yeah. So just on command or just? Whenever you feel like sneezing, Yeah. just before you sneeze, blow all the air uh-huh. out of your system. And then it just kind of... Nothing comes out. Wow. It's like those messy, nasty, nasty sneezes. So you're about to sneeze... <laughs> Yeah, and then sneeze. This is power. This Nothing is all tactics. Out. You're giving technique. You're, you you're demonstrating. Different. I don't know if I said that on my channel. This but. is why I hope you're subscribed here on Video right? Influencers because we bring you the best, the best, tips, the, the best. best hacks. That's practical hack. That's life yeah. skills right there. That's right. <laughs> Social situations. Right. Uh, yeah. Exactly. How to quietly sneeze without crap coming out. That's important stuff. I love it. I you're love chewing it. Chewing on a banana. You don't want to sneeze that out. It's it's true. Hey. What's the worst food to have in your mouth when sneezing? Uh, uh, salsa. Or if you've put a lot of hot sauce on Ooh. your food. See, would, then it then it goes up oh, that's and then nasty. the burn and you're like oh okay. I was thinking banana because when it comes out you can't tell the difference of what's what oh that's true right okay. that's what you get here that's right you get <laughs> you get the gold here on video influencers if you could give a TED talk what would it be about mindset deeper people play small by default you you know even here sitting here I've already played small five times every major breakthrough that you will have in your life will come by smashing a limiting belief mm-hmm. and that starts with your mindset. So powerful. Um, No miss morning ritual for you. Right now, I wake up, I read a page from my top 10 success book, and then then I have to share. Mm -hmm. For me, sharing gets me... Share yeah. something. So you post something on social. You share I'll make a, a video. Oh, I'll okay. make a video. Like a morning rant, like 15 second, black and white Instagram video. And that's that's how I start my day. I get inspired by something and then I make a video. So it's the inspiration plus the sharing is the thing that gets me going. That's powerful. Inspire yeah. yourself, inspire others. Yeah, yeah. Start it doesn't work as well if it's just me. Mm. I have to share it for me to feel the juice. Man, that's really powerful. Yeah. Um, what advice would you now give to your 20-year-old self? Believe more. Believe more. Yeah, believe harder, believe more. And it's the same advice that my seven-year-old self would tell my 38-year-old self right now. Mindset, dude. It's do, mindset. do you have a favorite quote that you like to live by or think about often? Especially from the quote guy. I mean, you know so many quotes. So A lot of them. Like, I love a lot of them. Give nothing, me, nothing comes to mind. Machine but, gun. Yeah, right? So, so many. Um, I, here's, so here's my answer. Yeah. I don't think there's one quote that you can live your life by. Mm. Like, I think the same quote if you just repeat it over and over again, it just fades. Yeah. It's like when you tattoo something on your arm and it's supposed to remind you of something, mm. it, it starts to not remind you of that anymore. If you watch the same video over and over again, you won't get motivated by it anymore. Mm. Right? So You need just, fresh inspiration. You, exactly. But like new, pointing at the same thing. You need right? that new word, that fresh word. The, the new thought, but still pointing at the same like yeah. thing of where you want to go. You can't watch the same, like you watch a Jobs movie, it'll blow your mind. You watch it a hundred times, the efficacy drops off each time, right? Mm. So that's why I don't have a quote to live by. Favorite place in the whole wide world? Toronto, Canada. Shout out, Canada. Hey, if you're from Canada, let us know in the comments yeah. below. Yeah, love. Canada love. Lightning round. Choo-choo. Choo-choo-choo-choo. Awesome. Well, Evan, um, so much value. Thanks so much for taking the time today. Of course, you've got some cool things out. We'd love to uh, talk about your book, talk about your channel, but where can people find you? And uh, we'll link that in the description below. So the YouTube channel, easiest place to get the content. If you want to interact one-on-one with me, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat are the three places I'm hanging out the most. I love that. I love that. And influencers, question of the day, taking this from Evan's channel, what point in this video or principle or topic that was shared do you need to implement next? Let us know in the comments and remember that by sharing that um, you're putting it out there into the world and it'll get you closer to taking action than by not doing it so post that in the comments Evan can you give one final word of inspiration you know the entrepreneurial journey uh, Darren Hardy wrote a book called it's it's a roller coaster there's ups there's downs some right now might be super encouraged some might be going through a harder season can you just share a few final words just to keep going and keep building for the influencers watching enjoy the pain pain is good like all the, all the crap, if you can learn to see the crap that's in your life and say, this is my chance to grow, that's when, again, it's a mindset thing, right? Whatever is wrong in your life right now, say, good, this is my chance to overcome it, and then I'll help other people do it too. 
I love that. I love that. Thanks again so much for coming on. Influencers, subscribe and ring the bell if you're not subscribed. And if you want to check out other videos in this interview series, click or tap the screen right there for another video from Video Influencers. Click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence, income, and impact with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.